My name is Matthew Porter. I'm a sixth generation potato farmer here in uh, Presque Isle, Maine. We've expanded our farm a lot over the past 15 years and that's how we got introduced to Spudnik. We, we found a, a need for more efficient equipment and here we are today. Weather is, uh, is one of our biggest challenges here. Uh, rainfall can, can be uh, not nearly enough or, or way too much. Very seldom is it right where we want it to be. Another big challenge we have here is, is even though we have extremely fertile, beautiful soil, we have a lot of stones in that soil and it creates a challenge at harvest to maintain quality. Like any business, we, we find that we need to be more efficient in what we do. And what we found that helped us the most was having a potato harvester that separated the stones at the beginning of the harvester versus at the, at the end of it, and we eliminate a lot of our bruising. So we approached Spudnik for a machine that would have more capacity and they had a plan of, of this new AirCept technology to put in place and they wanted us to, uh, to work with them to see if we could make it work. It was my first trip to Idaho that we sat in the R&D booth and there was a little machine set up that was the principle behind the AirCept technology. And I watched it work and I saw it work, and it worked. And that was in the winter. We came, I came back to Presque Isle. And that fall, we had a harvester here. We took it to the field. We started harvesting, and it didn't work. Uh, and, and we struggled to, to figure out what was wrong. And, and because I knew that the concept worked, we just couldn't figure out what was wrong. And the guys at Spudnik worked incredible hours to try to get the concept figured out and we, they made a few more changes and it was just like a light switch. It went from not working well to just incredible how well it worked. And, and really from, from that year, which was five years ago, they've done nothing but m make small improvements. Any place that we saw, you know, small issues you know, that, that would hang up production, They've only improved them and, and we'll continue to do that, I'm sure, for the next five to ten years. As far as operating, it's the easiest potato harvester I've ever run. It, uh, starting right, at, right in the front of the machine, the digger nose has a twist to it, so in our side hills, it keeps constant contact with the ground and we'll, we'll actually twist on our side hills, which makes feeding near perfect all the time. Uh, which is, has always been a challenge with our old machines to, uh, to get that uh, up through the machine. We have two different simple steps, one after the primary, one after the secondary, which allows us to push more dirt through the machine, which gives us better quality, less bruising. Uh, and after the second, it dumps across our air set, which is just, 108 inches of, of pure separation. It just works awesome. It, it, it cleans our stones out. It's gentle on the potatoes. It goes up around the machine. The final cleaning tool that I have is the multi-sep. Uh, that, that cleans most of our grass, clods, uh, small stones. We'll clean those right up. And, and across there, it goes into our holding tank, which is the first that we've had on our farm and is an awesome production tool. We're able to swap trucks on the go now, uh, and, and it does a beautiful job handling the potatoes in that holding tank, and it increases our production, which is really what we're after. Being the, the first grower to run one of these machines, being the first grower to buy one of these machines, uh, we're also the grower that has the most hours on the machines. So we're starting to see the, the fatigue areas on the machine. And uh, for so far what we've seen has been routine maintenance. You know, it's, it's been a really nice machine that way. Uh, um, it's, it's, it's complicated, but it's simple at the same time. The, the, you know, the electronics, all the sensors, uh, they work. We haven't had any issues with them. 
everything that we've had to work on have been wear parts. When we sat down and ran the numbers on, on running three harvesters in our operation versus one Sputnik air set, uh, the decision was pretty easy. Uh, it actually was less capital investment to buy one tractor and one harvester than it was to have the other three running. And we can't find the labor to run all of our equipment. We can find labor, but we can't find good operators. And uh, so the economics for us drove it fast that it's, it was gonna work on our farm. For our operation, I would say the, the ability to run one harvester versus multiple harvesters, the cleanliness of the loads that we can put out, we can field spread all of our debris back out in the field uniformly versus taking it to the storage to then separate it. It's eliminated some cost at our storage. We haven't had to buy bigger eliminators to clean our loads up because the harvester is doing it in the field. And really, for me as the operator, it makes every day easier. It's a great machine to run. The, any harvester that, that we've ever had on our farm always works good in good conditions. But because here in Northern Maine, we very seldom have good conditions, the air set has really stepped out. And, and, and when we get into wet conditions, like we are right now with, with over an inch of rain, uh, we can go out the next day and, and that machine has the cleaning capacity to handle wet, wet ground. And, and not just do a fair job, it does an excellent job. And, and we, we don't have to sacrifice production in those conditions. We can keep the same production all day long, still put out clean loads when a lot of other harvesters can't even go in the field and work. We really looked at the long-term investment for both our business and in really for the industry. Uh, our, our industry here in Maine needed something new, something different, something better. And uh, we felt like not only were we working for, for ourselves, for our business to, to, to make us better, but we thought for the whole industry.